What's good, everybody? Welcome back onto the Brochy Island, and welcome to the first of our Retro RPG Spotlight series videos. I hope you guys look forward to them. Um, a little bit about the series: this series is made, or this series is made by me to highlight various RPGs from back in my childhood um, that I found enjoyable, and that many of the, uh, and that maybe some more people of the community uh, found enjoyable. Um, it's not just going to be the ones that I found enjoyable. Um, I have. You know, been taking ideas from people of the Brochia family, uh, ideas and uh, interest in terms of games that we can look at. Um, so I hope, event, I hope at some point we showcase a game that appeals to your taste. Um, we will be doing these periodically throughout the year. Uh, so keep an eye out on the YouTube channel as well as on my Twitch channel, twitchtv slash 89 Um. You never know what we're going to be playing, so make sure to stop by frequently and keep uh, keep an eye out. Without further ado, let's jump on into the first video. The first one is, the first series that we're taking a look at is, the Golden Sun series. Hope you guys enjoy. Later. Things happen. Wrong button. You know what? I'm trying to remember how to use this controller. <laughs> it's been so long since I've used this. And I'm still trying to remember how to use this controller. I, I was in the middle of deleting some data. So, uh, erase. There we go. Uh, we want to erase this one. So, chat. Has anybody in chat played through the Golden Sun series before? Uh, we're going to keep the names the same just to preserve the, uh, the, uh, let's say the sanctity of the game. So everybody can get the true Golden Sun experience. We're going to leave everything, everybody's name the same. We're not changing anything. We're not doing nothing. Uh, we're gonna leave it the way it is. Um, so a little bit of history about myself um, and the Golden Sun series. I've started playing the Golden Sun series. Give me a second. Uh, so let's see, I started playing it. I wanna say it was 2000. Two. I want to say it was around holiday season of 2002. I was given the game uh, for Christmas from a friend uh, who gave me the first Golden Sun. Um, and I absolutely fell in love with it. When he told me about the game, I was like, oh, RPG. At the time, I was more like into Smash Brothers and Mario Kart. I didn't really care too much about RPGs. I would play like... I would play like uh, Legend of Dragoon, and I was like, okay, that's probably one of the few RPGs I play. I play some of the Final Fantasies. Um, but mostly it was Mario Kart, Smash Brothers, fighting games, Soul Calibur, Mario Parties, all that stuff. Um, but uh, he gave me this game, and he was like, you should try it out. I think it's a really good game. I think you would enjoy it. So I, I, I came. I was like, sure, I'll try it out. Let's, let's do this thing. Um, I started playing it. Um, at first, I was like, it started off a little weird. I was like, eh. Well, no. At first, I was like, okay, we're starting off in, you know, calamity. We're getting attacked by rocks and whatnot. Let's go. Uh, but then, you know, it kind of transitioned into, you know, a little bit of a, a you know how the first dungeons can be kind of slow. But that is, ooh. Slow monotonous tutorial type dungeons. And, uh, I don't know. I kind of was like, eh. But as I played the game, um, and the plot thickened, I got more and more into it. And I'd say about halfway through the game, I was like, oh, God, I'm hooked on this game. I have to play the next one. So when Lost Age released, um, I was there, like, day one, picked that up, uh, and played that. Love the heck out 
of that. Uh, Lost Age is probably my favorite of the three of the uh, three games. Um, Dark Dawn wasn't bad by any means. I just I don't know. Lost Age spoke to me more. But I'm, I was very excited to do this. Um, we're doing it as a series, so where we take a look at more RPG games, not only just this game. Uh, which reminds me, let me do a command real quick. Uh, let's see. Okay, retro. Um, and then it'd be. The Retro RPG Spotlight is a series in which we highlight some of favorite retro RPGs. For others to enjoy. Uh, for others to enjoy. As well as to show others how much fun they can be. Sit back. Relax. And and enjoy the show. Alright. Alright, so I added the new command. Uh, I probably should update the uh, stream information too. command and add all that stuff uh, it's too dangerous Dora please just take good care of Isaac Isaac is old enough to get to the plaza on his own you can find your way can't you Isaac you know the way just go south to get to the plaza be careful but yeah the story I found the story extremely riveting um and exciting. Uh, but I think the thing that makes this so much fun for me is the music. I'd say this entire series has some of the best music you would ever find in an RPG. Blocked our pass, so we have to go up. Look at us. We are already disobeying the rules. <laughs> we were told to go south. Here we are going north. Isaac, what do you want? I'm trying to save my things. What? You want me to just dump my stuff? Yes. You think I should forget these things and save my own life? You know, you're right. Okay, let's get out of here. I'm always curious if I could ever go back and actually check to see, uh... And uh, check and see if I can get his, the stuff from him. Can you guys imagine getting crushed by a giant boulder in this day and age? It feels like a thing that you would never see happen uh, in real life. You know it's something that can happen, but you're just like, okay, it's something that probably won't happen. Come on, Isaac, run, the boulder is coming. Well, we ain't running south. This game really hates you running south. Go 
Golden Sun, the game in which you're supposed to run south, but you can't. You know how to laugh. Rock slide. Destroy defense. Monsters everywhere. I'm hurt pretty badly. Do you think I'll die? No. This is awful. I'm left here for the monsters to... What a pansy. Wait, that's strange. I'm not hurt at all. Yeah, you're just a pansy. But I'm serious about the monsters, so be careful on your way to the plaza. Alright, so I guess that means we'll start running into monsters now? Wild vermin has appeared! I just realized, the chat's not disappearing on its own. Uh, I need to check that. It's actually supposed to disappear on its own. Okay, that was weird. I screen went black for a second and I thought uh, things were about to break. Uh, settings. Uh, okay, uh, how about other? Position and style? No. Uh, we did the animation seconds. Our settings. Typography, same as Twitch. No, that's not it either. Interesting. So is there no way to change it so that it doesn't just stay there? I assume there would be a way to, uh... Set it so it doesn't just stay there the entire time. do 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 seconds okay that's why uh, so we wanted to hide after 15 seconds we'll see if that's too short okay so let's boop boop okay all right and we'll see for certain once uh, we get actual messages up in here well, I think I can send test messages. Hi, right, Bill. All right, we got a bat this time. We're just going to use auto attacks. Jesus. One hitting people? Are we really already that strong? Wait. Why are the mush why are the enemies inside the town now? Isaac took some damage. More south? Can I go this south? Oh, I can go this south, sweet. Oh no, my brother! Hang on, Felix! He looks to be all right. We'll find a way to save him. And down he goes. No, Felix! <laughs> my, my voice is terrible. Can you imagine a little girl trying to jump in the water to save her brother when she's smaller than her brother? The rope won't reach. We should use um. We should use synergy. Uh, do you have any left? I use all mine up. What about you, Kale? Or Kyle? I'm drained from helping the other um, villagers. We have to get help. Can Felix hang on long enough for us to find help? There's nothing else we can do for him. Um, here, is there? Then go get help. But be as quick as possible. Jenna, can you go too? You'll go find help, right? Brothers counting on you, Jenna. Alright, let's keep going. Onward to find help! I'll go look up north. You head for the plaza, I'm um, alright. 
Yes, ma'am. We're looking for anyone with any synergy left, right? Isaac! You saw what happened? Yes. I have to go get help before Village drowns. I don't suppose. Could the two of you help me? Jenna's gone to the plaza to get help. Go join her. Floppy, what's up, buddy? How you feeling? Good evening and welcome on back in. Alright, so we're going south to help Jenna save her brother. Who's uh, hanging on to what looks like a broken piece of their deck. Meanwhile, getting assaulted by uh, monsters in the village. Because that's. Oh crap, am I gonna die? I was defending. I was like, why well, isn't he dead? I'm trying not to waste any herbs and whatnot. Oh, well, we can't go that way. Clearly. Stupid rocks. Isaac, check the jar. Who put the cookie in the cookie jar? Oh, um, oh, little Felix has fallen into the river. That must be why Jenna looks so upset. Go ahead, the elders. The boulder's too heavy for them to hold much longer. We can't let them out. Ooh, dude. We can't let them out of to destroy our village. Let's go help the elders. I'm counting on you. Grandpa! Jenna! Garrett, Isaac, you came to help me? Jenna told me, um... Wait, Jenna told me about Felix. Is that why you're here? Good boys. Jenna could use a hand. Great! I'm all charged up! How are you? Have you recovered your synergy? Enough to say Felix thanks to the synergy stone. Okay, Jenna. I can't, I'm trying to do different voices, but I'm not good at voices, man. Okay, Jenna, you heard him. That hurt. The path, uh, may, the path may be blocked by falling rocks. You two can show them the way. Um, show them the way. You know, we run pretty fast for little kids with short legs. I'm just saying, I'm pointing that out there. Wait, how have you been, Fluffy? Do we really have time to sit here and talk? Like, why are you not just walking still? Is that you, Jenna? Yes, ma'am. I couldn't find anyone who could help. How do you treat you? Do some homework? Ooh, sounds like fun. You're just in time. Then my brother's still. Felix is alright. He's hanging in there. Come down here so we can save Felix. But his name is Felix. Shouldn't he be able to fix it? He should be able to fix all of this, right? With a name like Felix. Now, now, I know what that implies that all Felixes should be able to fix things, but that's not necessarily true, I guess, huh? Well then, that just happened. I can't move. Isaac, please get help. Isaac, the boulder. We need to get help or everyone will drown. Mom, Dad, Felix, please don't leave me alone. Don't leave me all alone. No, it can't be. Kyle, it must be a dream. 
Alright. Well, since no one else is able to move right now, I guess I'm going to walk over this way and get help. Isaac. I can't let him go alone. It's times like these that we have to, st uh, that we men have to stand together. Well, at least he came with us, right? Only the two of us survived. How could we have anticipated so safe them? When at least I secure It's a miracle that even the two of us were spared. That switch, it must have been a trap. But to think, it could conjure up a storm this powerful. Another demonstration of the awesome powers of alchemy. Regardless, we must not fail. The next time we challenge Soul Sanctum. Next time, we shall certainly... Isaac, wait! Oh, Garrett. You were eavesdropping on us just now, weren't you? Yes. Isaac. Isaac, they look scary. Are you sure you should be talking to them? I mean, when is anyone ever sure they should be talking to anybody? You must forget everything you heard. Don't worry, we'll help you forget. So, fun fact. Regardless of which one you choose, they are going to fight you. Regardless of which option you choose, they are going to say that we're going to erase your memory just in case. I like this song, so I'm letting it rock for a second. I love the fact that it treats you to a, such a banger right off the bat. It's a pretty good banger, yeah. I would say that there are very few songs in the Golden Tune series that I don't like. Um, I would I would say the only song that I don't like in the first game, at the very least, is the main boss theme. Kind of meh. Like all the specialty bosses have like really good themes. Or, you know, like, the big, big bosses. The ones that aren't, like, the boss of an area, but more like the boss of the game or something like that. Alright, we're just gonna beat up on uh, the Mystery Man because, you know, we shouldn't attack Mystery Man. Maybe we should have beat up on Mystery Woman? Mystery Woman's hurt. There you have it, chat. Game over. We lost already. This... This game over music is really dark, though. It's like they tried to mix a bedtime melody with like some kind of Resident Evil music like PS1 Resident Evil music so they just bang us up and then leave us here on the floor in the rain we could get sick and die so adults they are Three years later. 
I'm sorry, but we don't look... I mean, we look like it's been five years, not three years. Like, three years ago, we looked like we were like four years old. Isaac, haven't you finished mending the roof yet? You're almost done. Okay, keep at it. Still training, Garrett. Not the flowers! You sure do put your heart into it, Garrett. Oh, I'm just finishing up. That's good. It's time to go and I was about to leave you behind. Say, what exactly happened to you two? The accident three years ago. Is that why you've been studying Synergy? I appreciate your concern, but my family's never coming back. Oh man, I should have screen captured that, that, uh... I should have screen captured that, uh phrase that she just said, uh, used, uh, my family is never coming back. So that way later on we can be like, wow, this aged poorly. <laughs> Sorry, I got an alert. I wanted to make sure it wasn't the baby. And neither is Isaac's father. I just wanted to forget that day. I wish everyone would. That awful day, we went to get help, but they found us unconscious. Well, let's go, Isaac. Um, let's go get Isaac and go to Crichton's house. What, Garrett? Huh? You were about to say something, weren't you? Don't be weird, Garrett. Yeah, Garrett. Don't be weird. Whatever. Jenna, are you mad at me? I don't want to talk about it. Come on! Huh? Isaac's waiting for us. But Jenna... One day Garrett will learn that he probably shouldn't test women. I'll leave you behind if you're too slow. Jenna... Doing, 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 doing. Good job, Isaac. You passed it nicely. All right, you're all done. You're very reliable, Isaac, just like your father was. What is it, Isaac? Do you still think about the accident? Yes. I thought so, Isaac. You and Garrett have been working yourselves to the bone studying synergy. Do you think things would be any different if you had stronger abilities? That's what I thought. I was, I was devastated when Kyle died. I felt all alone. Even though you had us, you know, sure, you know, your husband died, you feel all alone because your son's not there either, I guess. It's taking some time, but I'm better now. I still have you, Isaac. You're almost 17. You're so much like Kyle was when he was young. I swear, they did not look like 13-year-olds. They looked like they were... Seven, eight, maybe nine. 
I'm looking forward to seeing where life takes you. Ma'am! She screamed that for her. Hello, Jenna. Good morning. Yes, yes, good morning. Well, if it isn't Garrett, too. Where do you all plan to go today? We're going to Mount Alpha with Karen. I'm uh, with Craig. I said Karen. <laughs> it's David's Craig. Uh, mountain climbing with Craig, eh? Kids and their games. No, it's part of our studies. Ah, yes, alchemy. Alchemy is the foundation of all synergy. And you all know Mount Alf is the greatest source of alchemy. They say Crichton is the best teacher around. Alchemy, I wonder what use it, um, it all is. Your mother would rather see you grow up to be a happy, ordinary man. But I suppose you still want to go. Sorry, Mom, I'm anything but ordinary. Well, if that won't persuade you, I guess nothing will. You're just as stubborn as your father. Ah, be careful, ma'am. Garrett, don't. Well, he had good intentions, right? Oh, that was exciting. He said, oh, that was exciting. I'm sorry I scared you like that. Well. I, I'm sorry, ma'am. I'll get out of your way right away. Wait, not there. Huh? What's wrong with... Imagine if you were the one that just did all that work repairing the roof. Oh, never mind. But you better get going. This old house will fall apart if you stay much longer. I'll get this fixed up. You don't have to hang around here. Thank you, ma'am. Please call me Dora. Well, uh, we'll get going right away. Wait, Garrett. Uh, wait, Garrett. Just watch your step. You would think that people would know by now that you shouldn't be jumping on a roof to begin with, but you know, whatever. Especially a straw roof. I mean, I'm no expert, but I'm pretty certain that's a no-no, right? All right, I believe this is the way it's supposed to go. There are some puppies playing over there. We shouldn't let, we should let them be. Well, can't go that way. place looks just like it did three years ago after the storm so this is Jenna's house I think that's Jenna's house all right so let's try going full north yep you're in trouble now, Garrett. Your sister's really mad. You're his sister, too. Garrett, you make me so mad sometimes. Your training stone crushed my flowers. You're in for it tonight. Just you wait and see. I'll get you for my flowers. Just see what happens tonight. Yeah, I don't think Garrett's gonna live past tonight.
You need to pass here? Yes. You must be going to Crichton's cottage. They seem to know a little of Sol Sanctum's mysteries. The Elders of Vell must not permit anyone to enter it, not even Cred. Cred, can we use him? Hmm. His knowledge is no meager thing. We can use him. But he's more stubborn than we expected. And cunning, too. Cunning beyond measure. If you won't go willingly, then we can always... How does he keep noticing us here? You there, what are you doing? What are we doing? Were you eavesdropping on our conversation? <coughs> no. <sighs> Guess that I should take your, um, you at your word. Hey, you're the ones who were sneaking around. Sneaking? Who are you to accuse me? So Crichton's engagement was with you? Yeah, we're off to meet him right now. And this appointment is important enough to drive us away. Yes. If your errand is more important than your, our own, then... Go. You're letting us go? Are you sure, Satros? Minority, we have no reason to delay these children any further. Let's... Let's go, Isaac. You better leave before we change our minds. Go, children. You mustn't keep Crad and waiting. I will say, I do like their designs. Just who were they? They already know too much about Soul Sanctum. Things that even the Elders of Vell don't know. And what were they saying about the elements? The elements of alchemy. Earth, water, fire, and wind. They plan to set them into motion? And the four elemental stars are the key. These are things even I, a trained alchemy sage, do not know. Checking the jars. Ha! I knew there was something in one of these jars. Alright. Oh, Isaac. You look like something's bothering you. Me? Ah, well. It's those two, isn't it? S um, Satoros and Nardi? Uh, were their names, right? Are they still out there? They're very persistent. Did they want something from you, Cred? That seems to be the case. Seems to be. Mount Alf in Soul Sanctum. They spoke as if they teed them with their own eyes. Ooh, excuse me. Isn't that strange? Yes. Yes. You can't enter Mount Alf without a very good reason. And if they enter secretly, then they might be thieves. We have to go tell the high, the high elders and the villagers. Wait, everyone. I still don't know how accurate the things they said were. We can do nothing until um, we confirm what they told me. Then what should we do? So, this here is where I felt like he made a mistake. I felt like he should have told them anyway and then told them that I'm going to go confirm this information now. Uh, so don't act, uh, but know that there was a mysterious group of people uh, looking for information on Mount Alf, and you should be on your P's and Q's. At least that way the elders and whatnot know to be on guard and to be looking out for strange people. Um, they could potentially have stopped, you know, Satoros and Minardi from following us into the mountain. Or so on and so forth. We'll go confirm it. Do you mean we should go into Soul Sanctum ourselves? Isn't that impossible? Why would it be? Just 
because climbing Mount Alpha is forbidden. We're just going to see whether they've been to the mo uh, mountain. Surely that would be acceptable. We'll be fine if they don't see us, right? Right. We don't. Uh, we won't be doing anything bad up there. This will just be our secret, okay? And it's decided. We'll make. Uh, we'll make you the leader, okay, Isaac? Because the leader must always be the strong, silent type. If your leader isn't the strong, silent type, then you aren't playing an RPG. I'm just kidding. That's not. That's really true. Yes, it may be true that in a bulk of R, uh, JRPGs, the leader is the strong, silent type. Uh, but that isn't always the case. There are instances, uh, lots of instances, where the leader is very talkative and not all that silent. Oof. Uh, there seem um, there are some dangerous places between Mount Alpha and Salt Sanctum, but you can handle it, right, Isaac? You're more cautious than Garrett is, Isaac. You so you'll be fine. I feel like Jenna takes uh, doesn't waste any time or any chance um, that she can take to bash Garrett for any number of reasons. This is our best bet. All right, let's go. Woohoo! Let's go back into his house and start searching all of his stuff because yes. All right, uh, let's see. Yeah, let's save real quick because we have not done so yet. Um, then I think there's synergy. Put his move over uh, Isaac's because Isaac has cure. I want to make sure that his uh, he has max synergy so that we can use his whenever it's necessary. So here's a tip for everybody um, that have, um, if you have not played this game before, uh, check all barrels, pots, cups, anything. Um, you never know what you're gonna find if. Uh, unless you check it. I thought it was weird that we had this entire conversation outside um, of his cabin instead of going inside so that, you know, maybe potentially people can't hear us talking uh, about our plans. I guess he's hiding behind a tree. You're not planning on sneaking up to Mount Alpha, are you? No. Well, I'll overlook it this time. But I've got my eye on you, Isaac. Well, that was easy. You're not sneaking up there, are you? Of course not. You better not be.